Okay, uh, now we'll cover moving the aircraft. Obviously we've removed the chocks, we set them up here, not down here on the step or anything like has been previously mentioned. And it always requires two people to move an aircraft. If you're pushing them forward, uh, you'd go out here on the wingtip, one person here, one person on the other side, and then you just push evenly to get them to move. And then, yeah, that's pretty good. Just always pay attention to the tail because you could, as you turn, you can run into other aircraft. Obviously watch the tip, that's good. Then to stop, you can just pull lightly. We're gonna go over pushing the aircraft back. It's always two people and there's, there's two different roles. The student role will be up here at the front pushing. Always push at the prop hub. One hand here, one hand here. Don't, uh, don't push on the spinner dome, don't push on the cowling. And uh, you should always be paying attention to the wings. As a student, you'll be able to see uh, the wings, keep your head up, keep your eyes open, be, be watching those. Um, and always communicate with the guy steering. One other thing is if you're not comfortable pushing on the prop or you can't for whatever reason, you can always push right in here at the wing root. And the uh, same rules apply, just pay attention to the wings. And the instructor portion of uh, pushing, pushing back will be you push down here and right here. Uh, you don't want to be grabbing up here or anything like that. And as the instructor, uh, it's your responsibility for the whole evolution. So even though your student was hopefully watching your wings, um, you, it's your responsibility to make sure you're not hitting anything. The wing tips, uh, the, the stabilizer, anything like that. So you push here, here, you push down on the aircraft. And uh, one of the biggest things is you don't want to, you, you want to make sure that the, the nose wheel is up high enough and always be looking this direction. You, Keep your, checking left, checking right, but always looking back, you don't want to run into anything. And then, to make sure you're communicating with your student, you don't want to push too fast. Um, and yeah, so we'll go ahead and move it. Go ahead, Curtis. <laughs> All right, stop for a second. One other thing I'd like to mention is if there's any doubt for any reason, like the wingtip looks close, make sure you just come and check. It takes two seconds and save us a lot of problems. The other thing you'll notice here on the floor, there's squares. In an ideal world, that's where your tires will end up. Um, but don't get too caught up on paying attention to where they are. Just watch, look where the other aircraft are and that's where you'll uh, find the sweet spot. Ready? Okay. Uh, and then once you're done, one thing you want to know, you don't want your wingtips you want good clearance on the wingtips, the tail, anywhere you don't want to be, anywhere in the prop arc. Uh, and then when you're done, just put your chocks in. Okay, another thing we're gonna talk about is the winterization kit. So if you're ever flying in the cold, it says on here on these kits, the temperature, wind to remove. So anywhere below 15 degrees Celsius, you're gonna want these in. Anywhere above, you'll take them out. And as, as a pilot, it's your responsibility to make sure they're either installed or uninstalled, depending on the temperature. We'll just go over briefly how to install them or uninstall them. Um, so you've got two for up here on the cowling. Lock the cylinders. These fasteners, these are just quarter turn fasteners, so you're just gonna push them in and turn. They should lock. If you do have any trouble, feel free to contact maintenance or ask a phone a friend. So they just sit in like that, and then push in, turn, push in, turn, that's in. It's easy to, easy to remove, just turn it out, pop it out, this thing will come right out. So that's how you do the cylinder heads. And then down here, 
We've got the oil cooler cover. It goes actually back in here. It can be hard to see sometimes. It's the same concept, it'll just sit there. It's got one fastener, turn that. And this one here goes right up in the front. You push down the front one first, push those in. Locks in just like that. Same way it come out. If you're not using them, put them back into this bag and they'll go back in the baggage compartment of the aircraft.